gotta motivate. Get up and keep going. Celebrate this life you've been holding. Demonstrate your love and devotion. And everybody get up and get up. It's time to get it moving, y'all. Step up your game. You gotta motivate. Get up and keep going. Celebrate this life you've been holding. Demonstrate your love and devotion. And everybody get up and get up. Motivate. Get up and keep moving. Celebrate this life is no illusion. Demonstrate the skills you've been using. And everybody get up and get up. And hey, welcome back to yet another review by Zombie. In today's review, we're going to take a look at a juice. That's right. It's a juice. It's not a juice. It's one juice. And that juice comes to us by way of Vapor Plus Canada, which you can find at vaporplus.ca. So you know how we roll, peeps. We're going to go take a look at the website, get some pricing information, and we're going to go back here and have ourselves a little vape session on this one juice. Let's hit the store. Welcome to the online tutorial for Vapor Plus Canada, makers of Diablo. Now let's go check out their main website. You can find Vapor Plus Canada at vaporplus.ca. This is their main web page. You can see that they carry e-liquid. They got general uh, e-cigarette stuff such as accessories, batteries, um, pro kits, starter kits. They pretty much have everything you would need to get started vaping and everything that an advanced user would want as well. But what we're here for is pricing information on e-juice. Now their regular line, which consists of, I would imagine, 23 different flavors as it comes up that there's 24 products plus the Diablo. Now on their regular line, such as the B&H Tobacco, you can get Nick drinks of 0, 06, 12, 18, and 24 in 30 mil bottles for $16.99. Now the Diablo, on the other hand, it comes in only 30 mil bottles as well, but it comes in 6, 12, and 18 milligrams. Now, real quick, the Diablo, a combination of flavors that will make you want to vape day and night. Made in Canada from premium grade ingredients, our Diablo e-juice product line is made of the finest and rarest flavor extracts. Diablo is steeped in our oak barrels for 30 days before distribution, which gives our blend that full body flavor. The, uh, the Diablo line is made in very small batches. We only use natural USP food grade ingredients and the best premium pharmaceutical grade nicotine. All our blends result in a 50-50 PGBG combination and come in 30 mil bottles. They offer Diablo in 6, 12, and 18 milligram doses. And that'll do it for the brief online tutorial for Vapor Plus Canada, makers of Diablo e-liquid. Now, back to the review. Before I start, I must point out, I did receive this free of charge for purpose of conducting a review, but my opinion of the product will remain true and honest as all. So, now that you know what juice it is, let's take a look at the label. All right. <clears throat> so, as you can see here, says Diablo original blend lots of words lots of words now as you know that this is a 50-50 PGBG and they do steep this in oak barrels for 30 days before they send this out so this is their own concoction now it does say on the website for the description as I pointed out in the online tutorial that it's like a big secret as to what it is. But I have a funny feeling that I figured it out. Now, on the label, it says contents, harmful, you know, it goes into the whole breakdown, warning, first aid treatment. And it says over here 50-50. 
Now, I don't see on here where it says 6 milligram. I don't see it. Hmm. So, I don't just 30 mil bottle. I don't see on here where it says 6 milligram. I see the uh, born date. But I don't see. Hmm. Oh, I bet you I know where it was. It's probably on the top of the label where it was cut off. So I see something there, but it looks like it was cut off. So, I actually have this loaded up in a brand new atomizer that I've just started using, which I'm going to do a review for soon. It's the Big Dripper. Now, I've got this dual microcoiled to about 0.57 ohms, and I've got that on my 26650 dual 26650. Taylor box mod. So let's have a vape. Wow, that's some good stuff. And I've got it about halfway down now. <laughs> I've had this stuff less than a week and I've vaped it that much already. So, what do we think the flavors are? Hmm. Well, I can tell you this. As trickery may have it, there's another juice maker and I'm gonna name his name too Mad Murdoch okay now this may not be something that Mad Murdoch would do but it's definitely along the same intelligence you know where they put something together that would seem like something else but when it's not <clears throat> so my guess is that they've got some rare spices in here maybe some extracts of rare herbs and to top it off anise with just a hint just a hint of mint okay because on the inhale okay and I'm going to do this a step at a time here, all right? On the inhale, I get like some spices and I get like Mmm, if there's any fruit being used, it's got to be apple, okay? If that's what's there. It may not be. But the way that those spices play on the tongue palate makes you think that there's apple there. Now, here's the clip. Here's the clincher, okay? The exhale. I need more vapor. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. On the exit, I get that cooling effect, which tells me <clears throat> that there's that subtle mint in there. Now, 
riding along with it and is more dominant than anything else. Anise. Okay? It's not so much that it's going to screw up what else is in there, but it's enough that it plays that tomfoolery on the palate. Now, if I'm wrong, then I know that the owner of Vapor Plus will tell me. However, I've been reviewing juice now for a couple of years, and I've got a tongue for these things on being able to pick out what's in there. So, get yourself some 30-day aged oak barrel Diablo juice, if you fancy one. You can go along to vaporplus.ca and you can pick yourself up a 30 ml bottle of their best blended e-juice. You can also visit them on Facebook. Now, here's where I come in. Flavor profile on this. Is it all day vape worthy? Hell yes. This thing is all day vape worthy. Not to just the daytime, but to the nighttime as well. It's very rare that you'll find e-juices that you can pick up and just vape straight out of the box. And what I mean by that is, is the way they ship it. Because they ship it in a nice box. It's got all the, the nice bubble wrap around it, so it's well protected. You bust it out, you bloat it up, and bam, you're vaping away. You don't have to steep it. You don't have to do anything to it, except for vaping. So, flavor profile. 10 out of 10. This is, this is a in-the-park in the ballpark home run. Bases were loaded. Bam. Somebody steps up to the plate. Home run. Grand slam in the park home run. 10 out of 10. All day long. All night long. Throat hit. Oh, throat hit. Let's talk about throat hit. Let's have another vape too, my peeps. Throw it Typically, fruity menthols, when I rate them, usually come out around 4 out of 10 for my throat hit. Typically, a custard comes out around 6 out of 10 for a mild. Now, Diablo, that comes out at a 2 out of 10. This is almost perfection here, folks. This is so close to being perfect, it's just hilarious. <laughs> now, vapor production. Vapor production. 50-50. Hmm. It's a 50-50 blend. Now, why do you think they made a 50-50 blend? Why didn't they make a Max PG? Or for that matter, for people that just want strictly flavor, a Max PG. Well, let me tell you. <clears throat> when you start out and you're a beginner vapor, <clears throat> typically you get a 70-30. Or a 50-50 blend. So, not only did they take the beginners into mind, but they also took people into mind that are more of the advanced users. Self. I can walk. But what do you get from a 50 50 blend as far as paper production goes? Well, it depends on your build, right? If you're a beginner, you're going to be using something like hmm, Pro Tanks, Evods, Aspire Nautilus, Mini Nautilus, Aspire Atlantis, even the Kanger Sub Tank now. For a beginner, okay? Those typically work best on a 50 50 blend. So, here again, they took all its users into mind. 
Now, if you run it through, say, Big Dripper, or you run it through Trident, or Zenith, or a Pyro, or Plumeville, or K Fun, or Orchid, 50 50 blend works just as well in those, too. So, vapor production 10 out of 10. How did we miss? We missed it by one point. Perfection by one point on the throat hits. How could it have been more perfect? Well, <sighs> hmm. There's really no way of doing that, is there? Perfection is unattainable. And I quote, perfection is unattainable. Who said that, my peeps? The Borg Queen from Star Trek. So, big shout out to Vapor Plus Canada for sending this on to me. Awesome friggin' juice. I love it. You know what? I fucking love it. <laughs> fucking A. Now, if you fancy trying one of these out for yourself, go along to vaporplus.ca. Grab yourself one, two, three, four. <sighs> they need to carry this in bigger size bottles. Bigger is better in this case. More. For us whores. <laughs> so, I hope you enjoyed the review. Please subscribe to my YouTube. And as always, my peeps and peepets. Ending too. Happy vaping.